Nando's has become a firm favorite in the UK and many countries around the world. Chicken fans have fallen in love with their peri-peri marinades, not forgetting their peronets, which have basically become a barometer for how tough you are. But do you know where Nando's all began? Many people think they do, but end up getting the answer wrong. While most people believe that Nando's originated in Portugal, that's actually incorrect. In fact, a Nando's spokesperson has confirmed that there aren't even any branches in Portugal, which has left some jet setting chicken lovers a bit disappointed. Even though Portuguese explorers discovered African bird's eye chili, used in the iconic Nando's chicken recipe, peri peri was actually first served in South Africa. The spicy marinated chicken was first served in a Portuguese restaurant in Rosettenville, a suburb of Johannesburg. When chef Fernando Duarte invited his entrepreneur friend Robbie Brozen to try the tasty dish, his pal believed it was the best chicken he'd ever tasted. After falling in love with the peri-peri recipe, Robbie set up Nando's, named in honor of his mate Fernando. Now there are over 1,000 Nando's branches in more than 35 different countries. In 1992, the first UK Nando's restaurant opened its doors in the West London suburbs of Ealing. The iconic chicken recipe is created by marinating the meat overnight in peri-peri sauce and then grilling it on an open flame before serving. Despite popular pressure, Nando's are yet to give away full details about the ingredients in the sauce. They claim, today our own recipe remains a closely guarded secret. We can't pinpoint exactly what makes it so addictive, but we do know it tantalizes the taste buds and adds passion to a meal. Ever wondered why the cockerel is the symbol that represents the popular restaurant chain? It's not just because they serve chicken. The legend of the Barcelos cockerel is what inspired the restaurateurs to use the iconic image. According to the Nando's interpretation of the story, a pilgrim was traveling through Barcelos, a Portuguese village, when he was falsely accused of theft. As the tale continues, the town's judge sentences the pilgrim to death and plans to celebrate the justice by roasting a cockerel for dinner. As they're about to execute the pilgrim, he pleads, if I am innocent may that cockerel get up and crow. Legend has it that as soon as these words were spoken, a cockerel crowed, causing the judge to pardon the pilgrim. The Nando's website explains, ever since, the Barcelos cockerel has been a symbol of faith, justice, and good fortune.